Hey guys, um, I'm just waiting for my mum to finish work so I'm picking up and I thought I'd do a little update for you whilst I'm waiting because I haven't actually done an update in a while. From today, it is officially 27 days until my surgery and I thought I'd just give you a little rundown on how I've been feeling about it. Currently, it still hasn't quite hit me that it's actually happening. Um, it, it doesn't actually feel real, but I keep forgetting that it's actually happening, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's my body trying to block it out or if it's just me, honestly, just, I, I don't know. When I do think about it, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little bit scared, but at the same time, like, nothing's actually overpowering me in any way. I'm excited, I'm, I'm a bit of everything, all in one, actually. I just, I think more than anything, it hasn't really kicked in fully. And I wish it would, and I'm prob it probably won't kick in until I'm actually flying to France or the night before or something. I'm looking forward to it. I am really looking forward to it. I just, honestly, I just, I don't, I don't actually, I don't feel anything when I think about it. It's just happening, if that makes sense. I'm, I mean, on the day I'm probably going to be absolutely pooping myself. I'm going to be scared out of my wits and I'm probably going to want my mum or something like that. But right right this second, for past however many weeks, I just I haven't been feeling anything. I don't think I'm scared, I don't think I'm nervous. But then again, I must be nervous in some way, surely. It's a, it's a pretty big operation. It's, it's a massive surgery. But I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I I couldn't I couldn't tell you. The only thing that's that's worrying me at the moment is actually finding someone to take with me to France because it's all going a little bit tits up at the moment, and it's always due to money. And I think I should have just found a a completely reliable person in the first place, which would have helped a lot. But stuff happens, so. I'm sure I'll find someone. There's got to be someone out there that, that can afford to come with me. But right now I haven't actually fully found them. But I'll keep you updated on that. I will. I don't think there's really all that much to talk about in this update. I meant to do a whole few more episodes, but I honestly I don't actually know exactly know what to do them on. I mean, I've told you all about what's actually happening with the surgery, what I'm having, who I'm going with why I'm going with them. I've told you what I'm taking. Although I could do an update on that because I've got a few more bits through. So I might I might add that on at the end of this or something or do another mini one later. But honestly I don't know. None of you are actually giving me any ideas. Um, so that's not, you're not helpful. You're not actually helping me guys. Um, I think, I don't know, give me, give me an idea. I want to, I'll do some more episodes. Um, I mean, Lucy's suggested that I just do little vlogs along the way, little updates like I'm doing now, uh, how I'm feeling and everything. But I have a feeling my feelings towards it aren't going to change, so these videos could get a little bit repetitive. But you never know, might not. I might actually start to feel a bit different about it. I've noticed that I, I keep touching my chest. Just touching it, like not, not in any weird way. Um, but I find myself just holding it, just when I like doing anything, walking, driving, eating. I don't know if that's my subconscious thinking, oh my god, it's going to be gone soon, it's all going to feel different. I think the one thing I am scared about is not getting feeling back, um, not having sensation in my nipples after. I mean, I know it's not the most important thing in the world. It's still something, it's an extra worry on top. There are surgeries out there that have been developed where you can actually keep the nipple attached whilst having a mastectomy, which is actually quite clever, but my surgeon doesn't offer that sort of thing, so I think it's a little bit more advanced. But it's not a problem. As I said, I'd rather just get my surgery done sooner rather than later, and then recovery time isn't a problem, so I can get to uni and, and do uni without, without an issue. But I don't know, I honestly, feeling wise, I, I'm sort of numb on the whole matter. But who knows? I'm going to catch up with you guys later. If anything important comes up, I will update you. Um, but seriously, come on, tell me, what, what do you want to know? 
questions. There's got to be something you want to know, surely. Uh, can't even think of any examples, but... You can ask me any questions. It doesn't have to be about the surgery. You can ask me questions about myself. It's it's not an issue. I'm I'm happy to answer them. I mean, there's a lot to know about me. I'm not just Alex, the transgender guy. I mean, I have I have a life. I think, possibly. So, yeah, get get in touch. Tell me tell me what you want to know. Give me ideas, inspiration, perhaps. Um, but yeah. Until then, I shall talk to you soon.